Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope y'all are doing great. I'm doing okay. Today we're going to be making a camera in the Brother Canvas workspace. So let's go ahead and get started. First we're going to need a few shapes. So we're going to go to shapes. We're going to get a rectangle. We're going to get the middle rectangle. And we're going to get the peel shape. And we're going to scroll down and we're going to get us a polygon. And we're going to go down once more to circles and we're going to get us a circle. We're going to go ahead and close this out, the shapes selection out by pressing shapes. And now we have our shapes on our canvas workspace. And I'm just going to move all the shapes so we can see them all very clearly. And to make that even better, we're going to go to properties, color, fill, and we're just going to fill these in with some random colors because once we get everything moving we will select the color we really really want our camera to be and now we are just moving and grooving moving and grooving all right so there we go we got all our color shape all our shapes colored so now we're just going to move all this out of the way except for the rectangle and we're going to take our rectangle and we're going to make it big really really big you don't want it to be this big because remember this is a 12 by 12 workspace so roughly this is 8 by 12 we don't want an 8 by 12 camera unless you're doing larger projects then by all means make it as huge as you need it to be we're going to take our polygon and we're going to just put it right there and i think i like that and now we're going to take our other rectangle peel shape and we're going to go to edit and under transform we're going to type in 90 because we want it to turn 90 degrees and then i'm going to kind of make it a little bit skinnier and a little bit shorter all right i'm just using these little um editing tools right there and i'm going to put that there do i like that does that look good to us i think it does so now we're going to highlight everything we're going to right click and we're going to click or select duplicate and we're going to move this over here now what's next what's next is we're going to take this highlight everything again we're going to go under edit scroll down to process overlap and we're going to weld them together we have all our pieces welded and now we're going to keep it highlighted and we're going to go to offset if you clicked off already no problems just re-click it and go to offset and we're going to keep our spacing right here it says 12 so that just means it's going to be 12 around the actual image which is fine so as you can see this is our offset and this is the image we're going to move our offset out the way for now and then we're going to select our image right click delete we no longer need that image we need our offset and now we're going to go back to properties and we're going to go to fill and we're going to change this to a bright, pretty yellow, right? I hope that's bright enough for us. Yep, that's pretty good. Now we're going to bring our pieces back. First, we need to go over to this image and go to arrange. We're going to select it. Go to arrange and we're going to send to back. Now we've sent it to the back and we can kind of work on our creations a little bit more. All right, so we have that piece, and I think what we're going to do is make all of them kind of match now. I don't know which color this is, so we're going to have to find out. Let's see what feel is that one. Okay. Just so they kind of look pretty similar to each other. I think that's what it is. Uh, we're off a little bit. That's okay. So you see how this image is going, it wants to go over. We don't want everybody know our trick that we've done so we're going to go right click on it arrange send backward and sometimes it doesn't want to work so we're just going to go right click bring front and there we go and i have lost my other little piece <laughs> on the screen which is okay we'll just go control a we selected everything And now I have it and then we will go control A again and we will move everything back over control A selects everything now this camera I'm not really liking that color so I'm gonna go back to properties and I think let's just make it green 
and we're going to make this one black. All right, so that looks good. Yep, that looks good. And we're going to, I'm selecting a little viewfinder thing, and I'm going to left click and bring it down some so we can actually see our base. Now, um, our offset, you can make it as big or as small as you want. You can go under, you can select it, and you can go under edit and under position and width and height. You can always increase it, okay? So it looks a little bit bigger. And I just increase it twice um, just because it looks... You want to see your edge when you're layering this, but it looks a little bit too big, so we're going to decrease it a little bit. I did it one time, just in case you're wondering. And there we go. We're going to make our button black as well, so we're going to go under Properties, change this to black, and there we have it. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to right-click, and we're going to duplicate it twice. And then we're going to take this button, our black button, and we're going to put that behind there. And I'm just right clicking on our or on our green camera and I'm bringing it to the front. So that's how it's going to look. Now with our lens, we need to bring it to the front, arrange, bring to front, and we're going to change the color of that as well. But first, we're going to right click, duplicate, and make it black. Okay. Then we're going to put this in the middle. Now, with our original yellow piece, we're going to duplicate it again. And this time, we're going to um, make this one black as well. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take our original yellow. And we're going to scoot it in just a little bit. Whatever size you feel that you need to make it is really your decision. So I'm not going to give you any um, numbers. Because it's all, right now it's just all by eye. Okay. So there we go. And then with this one we're going to scoot it in even more. And we're going to put that one on top. We're going to right click bring arrange. So you're going to right click go to arrange and bring to front. And there you have it. Now with these three pieces, one, two, three, what you want to do as best as possible is get them all centered up. So we're going to select all of them and we're going to go under edit. We're going to go align. We're going to go align center. And it centers them all up. We're going to go to edit again. Align. And we're going to go align middle. Now if you don't want to use the keys. The edit keys. You can always use the edit keys over on your screen. Just go to edit. And under align you just select center and middle. And now that those are all together. They are good to go. And you can move them as one. You can put them wherever you like on the camera. And we're going to just put ours right there. Now with this one, we're going to make it a little bit smaller. And we're just going to put it like bring to front. Or go to right click arrange, bring the front. I'm just going to put it on here, right here. Okay, right, let's move it over a little bit. It looks a little bit weird there. And just for fun, we're going to um, duplicate this little black button right here. And we're going to make it really, really small. And we're going to put it right there. And that's our camera. So I'm going to right click and duplicate. I mean delete that. And that is our camera. Now what I want to tell you is that you really don't want to group anything together. When you're going to send it over. Because it, it's hard to take apart once you put it on your um, on the actual machine. So you have one piece. You have two pieces. Three four, five, six, seven, eight, and you can use that little button as optional if you want to. So I hope that you all have enjoyed this whole um,
camera making experience I really really like it um, I'm learning how to do more and more things with the, the machine so I really enjoy it so I want to say thank you all for watching until next time happy crafting